Hello, Andrew Ivett here, just uh, doing a follow-up video on my previous videos. Anyway, today I'm going to talk about my full gigging rig that I'm using, which I've uh, recently upgraded, if you're paying attention to any of my recent videos. Anyway, I have this Marshall JMC 850 watt lead amp that I just recently put a Celestian Vintage 30 in, which which pretty much delivers a little bit more high end than the other speaker that I had in there. And you know, before I bought this speaker, whenever I bought brought my full rig to any gigs and which includes the uh, 410 cabinet, which I just did a video for explaining everything about that. So I won't go into that. Uh, if you want to learn more about that cabinet, please look at that video. But anyway, just to give a brief open, the, the 410 cabinet is a lovely cabinet, which delivers excellent sound and I've used it for many years since the early 80s when I bought it and uh, you know I've never had any problems with it I think it sounds great but I've been doing a lot of research with speakers lately and uh, I actually researched this vintage 30 speaker that I recently put in the combo on the top side it took me six months of looking over speakers on the internet to find this one speaker and what I'm finding is I'm getting a little bit more high-end out of the vintage 30 where the 410 cabinet is good for high-end but it's more of a low-end and tight bass response that I like with it so now when I combine the two speakers I get the best of both worlds now obviously the top speaker in the combo amp, the Vintage uh, 30, because it has a little more high end and it is higher on the stack, it dominates the sound. But, uh, and I think it's a more efficient speaker, so it's also louder with the same amount of watts split between the two, the cabinet and the upper speaker. But, uh, you know, I think that's fine. It works out fine for me. But and a lot of my research of uh, speakers that I've done over the years is, well, in particular, I just bring up uh, Van Halen. Van Halen always had that really sparkly Marshall sound that I liked in the most way when it came to his distortion sound and clean, for that matter. And a lot of people don't realize that he split his cabinets up. He had uh, JBLs on the top. And, and he had the more classic Celestian greenbacks on the bottom. So he's doing, I kind of learned from him where I can get more high end out of the top speakers and low end out of the bottom. I, I've changed that up, of course, I've, you know, because they're two different cabinet arrangements. But that's kind of like the sound that I've been looking for. Anyway, I'll go over some of the sounds right now. Hopefully the speaker, hopefully my, the microphone and they will pick it all up. A, a brief o overview, I'm uh, well, let me just get into it. Anyway, in the chain thing, I'm using my Les Paul, which is a 1959 copy a reissue I should say. I'm going through pretty much straight in although I've hooked up my uh, Ibanez parametric EQ. I mean of course I normally have some other effects along in it but I'm just this is mainly about the speakers today. But I I will never ever play this rig without my parametric EQ and I, and I have a video for that parametric EQ if you want to look into that. But the main thing I can say about the parametric EQ, because with stage where I'm going with a chord, 
it actually adds a boost to the signal, so it helps if the other train of effects that I might have in there. So it's a little bit of boost, and I'll show that. Here's with the parametric EQ on, uh, I'm on the clean channel. I'm gonna take the parametric EQ off. I mean, I hope you can see that. There's a significant volume change. Anyway, let's get back to the speakers. Right now, I've got both cabinets going. Uh, and this is the clean sound. Now, of course, I've got the gain all the way up in the distortion, so let's back that up a little bit. my rig that I go with. I like that amount of distortion. Of course, I can blend it off. Now, that's the full rig. Now, let me take off the sound of the top speaker, which, of course, is the new vintage uh, 30, Celestian 30 I put in there. I'll simply unplug it from the back. Now, this is the speaker. This is just the bottom speaker now. Clean channel. top speaker. sound. I don't know if the uh, video camera is picking that up, but I rather like the sound. And then when I get into more of a, a brown sound on the distortion where I back off, I back off the, the treble a lot and boost the mid-range. <laughs> distortion I kind of like that low bass sound sometimes and you know now that this I have this rig it it, it really helps out for that anyway that's my full concert rig 
and that's pretty much what I'm working with these days. Of course, a lot of times when I go light, I just bring the top thing, and I'm more than, I'm happy with that sound. And and I'll show you what that sounds like. So now I've taken out the bottom speaker. <laughs> adds in to the point where speakers are a major part of your sound. A lot of people want to go out and spend thousands of dollars on expensive high-end boutique amps, but you know, guess what? If you don't have quality speaker setup, it's not going to sound very good at all. In fact, I would even argue that if you spend a lot of money on quality speakers and maybe not so much money on your amp, you're still going to get a good sound. So it's something to explore. I've, you know, I've gone over these two speakers in other videos, so I won't go into that, but you know, you can buy a cabinet like this anywhere from 500 to 350 and the replacement speaker, the 12 inch thing is, I've seen them used for a hundred bucks, brand new, they're 145. That's for the English made one through Mesa Boogie Park. So you can see, I mean, you're talking about spending $600 on a good speaker setup, and you could probably get a good PV maybe, you know, something, a, an amp that gets reasonable sound, but hook it up to those nice speakers and it's going to sound good. So, maybe, you know, if you're on a budget, I'd spend it on good speakers instead of a high quality amp. Anyway, I guess I'm saying that since I have a reasonable good amp here, but uh, I believe that and I've seen it proven to me. Anyway, please subscribe to my website. And uh, make any comments you want. I'll answer all the questions that I get. Thank you very much. Andrew Apple signing out.